You term uh, inconsistency and instability as two yeah. uh, economic evils that Pakistan is facing for the last 75 years. But both are inevitable at this point where you have critical instability and you have inconsistency because you are not most of the policies you don't want to carry out in your entity. Whatever the t term you have, the small or big, or how much time you have, do you think you can repair this or you in 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 this inevitable time that you have very short period of time or it could be one year and a half what do you think yeah, i think you know this is our 75th independence anniversary year and we must do introspection and we must learn from our history that what was uh, the reason why we could not truly realize our potential and in my view uh, the two factors that did not allow pakistan to realize its full potential were political instability and inconsistency of policies and policy reversals. This government is a broad-based coalition. It is a government of 10 parties which represents all the four provinces and a very broad consensus within the society. So there is only <coughs> one party which is outside <coughs> in opposition and trying to play the role of a spoiler. But I think the very fact that this government has such a broad-based coalition uh, augurs very well uh, for uh, future of Pakistan that we can undertake some reforms with a broad-based consensus. And I think now time has come that all uh, political actors and stakeholders in the country must realize that there is only one way forward for Pakistan, that is to work under this constitution in the scheme and manner that will strengthen our political stability and that will also ensure continuity of policy in key economic areas for at least a decade because policies do not deliver fruits or dividends unless they continue for a decade. The question was, do you have enough time to do all that? Yes, we have enough time to at least do what is needed right now for stabilization of the economy. This government cannot undertake long-term reforms because our time or tenure is only left for one year. And in this one year, I think we can take enough measures and we are undertaking those measures that those will stabilize the economy and also we will undertake reforms to make sure that the next elections are fair and free 